are these cryptos about to explode? That is the question of the day as we revisit one of the more long-term charts on this channel that we've been updating every you know couple weeks or so. That is the Bitcoin dominance chart, essentially getting an overall grasp of what's going on in the altcoin market. But there's is something really, really interesting going on as of right now where it seems to be an altcoins picker market, if that makes sense. Like, you know, when people talk about a stock pickers market where it's like uh, individualistic stocks are going up, but maybe not the whole of the indices. Well, in this case, I think that we're seeing something similar in cryptocurrency space, which we really haven't seen before um, in general. Anyways, other than that, I'm gonna walk you back to the Air Crime Crypto channel. I already recorded this video once, but there was no fucking sound. For the love of God, there is no sound, and that absolutely drives me wild. But you know what? The show must go on, so we're just gonna get into it right here, right now. And first things first, I'll start it off with this chart over here on the monthly for Bitcoin dominance. So one of the major things that we were saying on this channel back in August was that, hey, yes, I'm still bullish on Bitcoin dominance. Uh, that was when things were back on over here at about 49%. Um, but I have to revise my bullishness to not be as bullish. Um, uh, you know, priorly, I was looking at a move between about 58 to 62%. I think a lot of people are looking for a similar move to that. But I revised that saying, hey, somewhere around about 54% does make sense in this case, as that is it. it exactly in alignment with this green 55 exponential moving average and also the 50% retracement um, if we throw on our tools over here. So ultimately, when looking at something like this, uh, this is a great stopping point, a great, you know, major high, let's call it. Maybe not a macro high just yet, but the way that price action has responded thus far it is um, it is very much a possibility that this is indeed a macro high here, and uh, in that revisement may indeed be correct. Um, but for now, just a major high. But I do want to talk about the next developments within this case because if um, these things happen in the next uh, well some of them even in the next few days, then that's going to greatly strengthen the case of this potentially being a macro high right here. So first things first, yes, we spoke about the green 55 exponential on this time frame. That is where the last ma macro rally was stopped back in December of 2020. Um, of course, you no, know, there's not a whole hell of a lot of iterations on this, but you know, warrants it for what it warrants. Um, again, 50% retracement over here, a great pullback area. Is it going to be a macro reversal area? That's the real question. Um, but for right now, as long as that does hold at 53 spot 75 percent, that is, well, very much possible and actually probable. Um, that is to say that a clear invalidation, which people always fucking forget to talk about invalidations, right? Um, but a clear invalidation in this case, uh, meaning that, you know, it'd have to be once again switched on to being like really fucking bullish on this, probably closer to 60 percent um, would be if we see higher term time frame closures above 53 spot 75 percent. If that happens, OK, fair enough. This is going to absolutely rip to the heavens and maybe even beyond from there as well. <laughs> anyways, um, anyways, uh, yes. On, also on the monthly time frame, there is potential for hidden bearish divergence if a local high is confirmed here. But of course, that is not going to happen all in one month, that being November. Um, the earliest I can, that, that, that that could potentially happen is December. Um, but the way that that could potentially happen is if we see a monthly closure below about 51 to about 51%, um, or sorry, about 50%. 50 um, but that is a uh, potential right there. Anyways, going into the bi-weekly time frame, speaking about the more near term, um, there is going to be potential for regular bearish divergence on this actually between this point, the highs in June and the, and the highs that we would presumably be seeing over here. That is as of right now, actually not available. I actually recorded this video last night and that was when the sound didn't fucking work, which really pissed me off. But, um, but this could confirm a local high right here on the biweekly time frame, which does close in three days if we do see a closure below 52 spot 11%, which it is damn near as of right now. Um, also on also on yesterday, I'm so pissed about yesterday's video because because also on yesterday's video in the short term I did say that hey Bitcoin was very likely to bounce in the short term which we are getting as of right now. Um, anyways, uh, now that we've gotten through that, we can go into check out some Oracle Pro action over here on the two day time frame. Um, I do want to say that there was a closing sell signal that was fired off in early November, and in this case we have actually seen the two day time frame. Um, pretty decent on this. Uh, yeah, when things, you know, generally trade sideways, it kind of, you know, small gains, small losses, not really, you know, not really doing all that much, just spinning this wheel, maybe may a small overall profit. But for these trending moves, it seemed to do pretty damn well. I mean, you, know, you can see this one over here to the downside. You can see several uh, to the upside before that. You can see this major one to the upside over here, another another major upside one. Uh, but this sell, you know, this, this sell signal over here, 
it does really bring into question, um, you know, the current rally. Also, I believe on the daily time frame, we we are seeing some relatively similar in the short term. Yeah, very likely to bounce, and this this can bounce higher. You know, even closer to fifty three percent, no problem. It's as long as there are no higher term time frame closures above fifty three spot seventy five percent. I suspect that uh, downside will be you know a little bit more likely um or it's just you know there it, it, it is a downtrend basically anyways um to you know further to that point and again this would have been a lot more relevant yesterday but for fuck's sake looks like uh destiny did not have that in mind um the uh the bitcoin dominance on the daily you know was kind of obviously setting up for a bounce right there uh now kind of spewing out a lot of that bounce already um but again, long term, anything below 53 spot 75% is another lower high to be aware of. And uh, for right now, we are starting to see, you know, the wheels turning. I suspect that you're going to see more sideways within this range, um, you know, slight ups, slight, slight downs. But the next sort of major confirming uh, factor on the daily would be a move below about 51 spot 70, just the lows of this week thus far. If you see something like that, okay, pretty good chance we're going to see this one continue down uh, closer to 51% even, and then 50%, I, just, it goes down 1% every time. No, those are like the major areas that I'd be looking for um, on a potential bounce, uh, with 50% being the big, 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 big one, because that is where this one starts to turn into not just a major reversal, which we've already seen, but a macro reversal, um, which is yet to be seen. Um, anyways, like I said earlier, this is a really interesting portion of the market because um, while we could see Bitcoin dominance, you know, maybe maybe put in a major or sorry, macro top here, um, it's very clear that not all altcoins are going to be doing the greatest. In fact, uh, we'll go over some examples where they're just not doing great at all. Um, but uh, but the ones that are doing good, you know, they seem they are likely going to be you know big winners. So um, I'll just go down a, a few of them here. I'm not going to go through like any of like the super small caps, but I expect those are going to be the biggest winners. Obviously, um, you know, no major surprise there, but if we go to Ethereum Bitcoin, just kind of mapping out this one, uh, the daily did get a buy signal pretty much um, on that low side. Yeah, on that low side right here, uh, you know, of course, closed much higher. But in this case, you know, I expect that this one's going to trade sideways a little bit and then try again to the upside. Um, you know, just want to point out that, that it is getting a buy signal on the Oracle. More importantly, or I don't know about more importantly, but also of, of interest, we do see that Cardano over here, um, ADA versus Bitcoin, uh, similar thing. Right, similar thing coming off the lows. This one time a little bit better, and uh, again, you know, these things can bounce just like Ethereum, Bitcoin, ju just like Cardano, Bitcoin, right here as well. This can bounce a lot and still remain in a long-term macro downtrend. So my point is that a lot of these things have been beat up a shit ton versus Bitcoin, and uh, and they're setting up for like you know pretty decent bounces. It seems like um, even if they are you know maybe not as strong as some of the newer alts just because they don't have all this nonsense where it just goes straight down um, before that. But again, long term to put things in perspective, something like this, it's, you know, it could bounce all the way up to like 2000 Satoshi's basically doubling and still be long term, you know, macro bearish. That would just be another lower high. It's kind of the problem with this. Even doggy coin, even fucking doggy coin is, uh, I think got a buy signal here as well. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, pretty much around these lows. Let me blow this up a little bit better. Um, again, can bounce quite significantly, you know, closer to like 250, which would be like, uh, you know, pretty decent bounce um, and still uh, and still remain in the long term downturn. I mean, again, this is just ugly. That's just really, really ugly right there. Um, so uh, what's my point? A lot of these things are setting up for bounces. That's probably going to you know imply that that Bitcoin dominance does come down a little bit further. Um, but of course, there are some things that are relatively weak, you know, XRP versus Bitcoin, despite going up versus US dollar. Uh, just got a, a fresh sell. Well, I don't know about fresh, but just got a sell signal over here. Not great. Not great, right? Um, and then, of course, the favorite one to pick on, as always, is Litecoin and Litecoin Bitcoin. Uh, you know, never even got a buy signal. I mean, it's just been on a strong downtrend. So, you know, we can see that. Um, it is going to be a bit of an altcoins picker market. It seems like that we're probably unlikely to see a, a broad market rally versus Bitcoin, or at least like a, a really, really strong one. But the ones that do rally are going to be so fucking strong that they outweigh um, everything else, all the weaker ones. And that is, you know, what could pull Bitcoin dominance uh, down, uh, down back here, um, which I thought was rather interesting. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe the sound doesn't work on this video either, in which case I should literally just end my life because not only am I looking at shit coins, I'm looking, at, I'm not, I can't even speak about them because the sound isn't coming through. Um, so before, 
yeah, before I commit suicide, uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but, but before I end it all, uh, that's what I'll leave you with. So, <laughs> so there you go. Of course, Bitcoin in the last day, may, may, maybe it is a good thing that Bitcoin, um, or that that video did not work because Bitcoin did do something of significant interest right here. You know, it did rally like right off the median, um, I should say, on the HPDR bands. Uh, current top side of the range is about 39,000 bucks. Yesterday, I did say that, hey, um, you know, this was looking a little bit corrective to me. I'm wrong on that, obviously. My invalidation for being wrong on that was trading back above yesterday's high or the day prior's high, which was 36,800. Um, that obviously triggered and full ride to the upside yet again. Um, the HPDR bands range continues to march upwards and onwards. Um, I suspect that 39,000 to 40 uh, to 41,000 bucks is the next sort of major area to be aware of um, based off of the five day time frame, which looks like it might have one one last push, one final push. <laughs> um, of course, there is based off of this price action now a very obvious and easy way to be invalidating that, um, thus validating this as, as actually a major high and a lot more problematic now long term. So what I'm trying to say is that Bitcoin has to, doesn't have to do anything, but you know, if it's bullish, it's going to continue from here. If it's bearish, you will see it come back down basically below yesterday's open at like 35,000 uh, bucks. And then it should correct pretty heavily towards 33. But, um, but for right now, uh, it's kind of just marking its way upwards and onwards and, you know, flagging out. And if there's anything to go off of, I mean, we got the median right around 36, uh, 36,900. Um, you know, I'd be looking at that as a potential bounce area on a short term pullback today and uh, maybe over the next couple of days coming to the end of the week, you know, Bitcoin maybe uh, tries another move to the upside as crazy as it does sound. But uh, that's kind of what we're getting from right here, especially as volatility did have a nice contraction off that last move. And, um, and now we're and we did see the HPDRO kind of reset here. It does actually look like it's getting ready for another move to the upside. Yeah, looking at the buy daily as well. A little bit more range bound on this one, but you know, if it's range bound and it comes back down below yesterday's low, basically thirty five thousand bucks, I'd be looking somewhere to low thirty threes, and that should be a nice bounce um, at minimum, and maybe even the next major low. But uh, for right now, it does say pressure on yet again to the upside, um, even though things do seem, you know, pretty. I wouldn't say overdone, but pretty, uh, they're, they're getting pretty extreme. <laughs> it's getting pretty extreme. Uh, but anyways, that's a good place for me to be leaving off. As always, I want to wish you the best, the best. Take care, much love, and fuck, I forgot to say. Um, might as well show the signal as well. The full hour for the Oracle over here on Bitcoin actually did print another buy. Um, don't confuse a sell right here with a buy right here. That was a closing for this buy over here, which is a small gainer. This one bought at 35,654 closing. This one closed at 36,185. So small game. Um, and then open another one right here. Looks kind of strange to me, but maybe we'll see our first major loss on this one. Anyways, I'm going to end things right there after so much time. Uh, I want to wish you the best, best as always. Take care, much love, and see you hopefully Friday.